This is Chester Moore, and welcome to day two of the Fall Flounder Run, brought to you by Mr. Twister Exude, and of course, me, Chester Moore, with Flounder Revolution and Flatfish University. This is my primary color for most of the year for flounder. This is a pink uh, mini from Mr. Twister. I also use a four-inch twister tail. I like that pink because where I fish on the upper Texas coast and the southwest Louisiana coast, the water is usually a little bit turbid, and this is a great color for that. However, right now, the water is really clear. I'm on the edge of Sabine Lake, so we're using shrimp. This is a clear color. This is a shrimp color from Mr. Twister. This is a shrimp twister tail. It has some red flakes in it. It has a little bit of silver flake and gold with this brown color. It looks exactly like a brown shrimp when it's down in the water. When the water clears up, I use clearer and more natural patterns. When the water is murky, I use colors that are more uh, obtrusive. You're talking your chartreuses, your hot pinks. Sometimes when it's clear, we'll use this glow, luminescent color. Something that's also very important and underutilized in flounder fishing is this right here, fluorocarbon line. This is eight pound strand fluorocast, and when the water's clear, I go with fluorocarbon line. I have written dozens and dozens of articles and spoken at dozens of dozens of lectures about using braided line because of the hook set abilities, and I use that most of the time. However, when I can see down more than about a foot, foot and a half, fluorocarbon line is the key because flounder are a very visual fish. They can see the line and they will not bite a lot of times. They can actually see the line. Fluorocarbon has the same refractive properties as water. It's essentially invisible. And when you use fluorocarbon line in conjunction with something like this, this shrimp colored twister tail, a natural color, looks like a brown shrimp. It makes a huge difference in fishing clear water.